it going everyone? The last video you watched I told you I was going to be filling these spaces up on the background and I'll tell you what, I feel like we're getting there now. I'm not 100% but I feel like it's all starting to take shape so I'm really pleased with that. As you all know I don't do many reviews on my channel but when I come across a product that really does come into its own I think it's only fair to let everyone be aware of what I use and how I bring that into my own fishing. And I'll tell you what, the Bushwhacker pole has become something that I use in lots of different situations. <laughs> So let's get into it. About five or six years ago now, I was walking around the boot fair and it had a fishing store in it which had loads of old carp tackle and that. And there was a big 11 meter roach pole that was on there, an old dial one. And I really thought I could use this for getting under snags, bushes, everything like that. I was gonna adapt it, put a thread on it so I could attach my own baiting spoon to it which worked and it was extremely good for what I needed it at the time. But times move on, don't they, and things evolve. And what we have now, which Nash have just brought out, is the Bushwhacker Deliverance Pole. And since I've had one of these, I just want to keep adding and adding sections to it. Um, I think I'm up to, what have I got? I've got 20 sections and I just want to get even longer with them because it's just endless, the spaces and the captures that you can get from using one of these in your fishing. You know, you know every time you drop that bait in that spoon, you know you're fishing. Or especially if you're gonna put a bag or a little bit of foam on before you drop it, you know. If that lead hits the floor, your hook link's going to be pivoting above until that foam falls off and it's just going to fall into place. And you know that you're fishing and you can sleep well that night. Like I say, the good points of actually using one of these is on the old baiting spoon, it never used to have the two floats on either side. So if you took your eye off the ball for one second, you're halfway out there and you take your eye off and the whole thing just falls over dumps your lead, dumps your hook bait, or your PVO bag in a place which was not supposed to. And the good thing about the Nash one is, you can take your eyes off the ball, you can put it down, and it just does not flip over, which is an excellent, excellent advantage with using this one. Um, and like I say, on the other one, I could only get 11 meters, and I think Nash have said that you can add sections on this which can bring it up to 45 meters, I mean, imagine that i'm still trying to get hold of some extra sections for myself so that i can keep bringing the game do you know what i mean so i just want to get to all the spots which you can't cast to on lakes you know because it really does give you an advantage um and it's something that i'm going to be bringing to my game bringing to my fishing through the winter and late autumn because those fish you know as good as i do that those fish in the winter they shoal up they find cover and if you've got places on your lake, on your rivers, where you know that they're going to be shoaled up and you just can't get to them, one of these really will come in handy. And I guarantee through the winter, your catch rate is going to go up. So like I said, guys, only a short, snappy video today. But it's well worth it. So check it out. Get yourself one on order. And we'll see you in the next one.